decided to uh, to sleep way earlier than usual yesterday. Basically, I, I had two. I just called it a day, and I was like, okay, I'll wake up early and do more work in the morning if that's what it takes. Because like I still had things that I wanted to finish, but yeah. Um, and I think that was a good call for the most part. I woke up. I mean, to be fair, like I slept in because well, I was still tired the night before. I didn't sleep, and then uh, yeah, oh, but. I have thought about one thing, like, I saw this clip of some, I don't know, Faye Academy or something, whatever, this creator who was like, yeah, the first thing I do every morning is I play a game of Call of Duty, and she's like, she's not some gamer, she's she's like a study productivity type creator, and um, and she explained her thinking, it was like, you know, if, if you struggle to get up in the morning, you should probably make the first thing you do something that you look forward to, and it's not that, like, obviously I love my business, I very much look forward to working on it and things like that, but like, like it's not the thing that necessarily gives the most instant gratification in the world and, and what she was saying is basically i mean you know if you, if you struggle then find something that brings you more instant gratification right and i think one of the best rules and principles to live with is just work with what you have make it make it work that's rule number one right like it doesn't you know if it does it for you then it does it for you so um yeah i was like that's an interesting way to think about things and you know i'm not really a gamer and, and i don't really like, cause if, if I start enjoying a game, then I obsess about it. So I can't, I can't really do this kind of, this half, half thing of like, kind of enjoy it. So I'll just play one game. No, that's not really going to work. Um, and so, you know, I just, I went to sleep and then today I woke up and then like, I, I mean, I slept, I accidentally fell asleep again just because of how tired I was and, and that, you know, no big surprises, but, um, I have this idea which I want to test, which is basically like I mean I don't watch a whole lot of YouTube, especially because the more and more like if I find myself on it regularly as well, like I just find the things less and less entertaining. But what I thought was I can uh, I can just work on finding a video, like the night before I'll just find a video that I like or find interesting, and then I'll leave the tab open, leave my computer next to my bed, and then the first thing I can watch it, and it's probably something that I you know gives me much more instant gratification than you know let's say reviewing PRs or something like that. Um, yeah, anyway, that was just a, a thought that I had, which I want to test out. Anyway, these guys are going to make a bunch of noise outside, so I'm going to stop recording. I've got a call in 15 minutes at 10.30, and I'm just going to be reviewing PRs until then. So that's the plan. I just got back from the gym, and it's now 11.30. Uh, and I'm not totally sure how exactly I'm gonna um, do everything that I need to do because I, I basically I have so I have to review a bunch of PRs um, both internally and for client. Then I gotta do some a bunch of front end work for client and make a video for them because by tomorrow they're presenting to some team thing whatever whatever. Long story short, gotta have that ready by tomorrow by like morning first thing. Um, I also got to record something because I was meant to do it yesterday, it didn't happen, et cetera, et cetera. Long story short, no, another thing on my plate. And it's 11.30, I got a call tomorrow at 9 a.m. I'm not totally sure how, how the math is working out on this one. Um, but basically, I've got a bunch of work to do. I have committed to the investments. There's a, two deals that I'm going on. One is an angel deal. One is, is just a... Um, it's like a coaching type thing um and that plus paying my accountants plus just a bunch of other little expenses and this month is going to be pretty brutal um if i'm totally honest like my main bank account will be depleted to like near zero i have to be fair like i have um stuff, i have different accounts and so not it's not all the money but it does bring my main account to uh to pretty low um and yeah, I mean, some part of that's scary, but the other part of me is also happy because I know that lights a fire under my ass and, uh, and I think April will be a good month. Anyway, my the, the client that I'm doing some front end for, they saw the review last week. It was their first week last week, second week. They're, they're kind of doing a half week, um, pausing and then resuming next week. But anyway, they were super happy. Um, we had a chat today and they were like really happy about the work and the stuff like that. So I was, I was super thrilled. And another client messaged me today and I was like, um, 
I love the way you organize, you know, you've been organizing the team and stuff like that. And I was like, like that stuff means the world. Um, it just, it, it makes me genuinely happy. Like if any, you know, I don't know if you're running a business, anything like that, and trust me when I say that there's literally nothing better than having really, really happy customers. Like it genuinely, it feels much better than having unhappy customers in a business that like, you know, gets you a decent amount of money or whatever. There's no amount of money that can replace that feeling of, of somebody just genuinely thanking you for the work that you're doing, at least in my opinion. Um, and I think that's really the, the, the thing you should go after when you, when you make a business. Uh, obviously, you know, money, money is a big thing in terms of like for a business, it's oxygen effectively, but there, I think a few things beat that feeling of just being appreciated by others. Um, and I think you should as much as possible, because I, I, I know that I think it's really nice to receive that. And so I also encourage and, and like I myself try and practice as much as possible appreciation of other people. Literally just yesterday, I wrote a bunch of cards. Um, like I, like I hand wrote postcards. My handwriting is that of a 12 year old and I've never been one to write cards. I was like, you know, for the longest time I was just, I didn't like it, but, um, there's this, this one email from a particular teacher. I don't know if I've spoken about it before on camera. I think I have, I don't know, but, uh, essentially he just said, you know, he was one of the few teachers who replied to me when I said that I was leaving the school and stuff like that. Bear in mind that I was remote when I left the school. Uh, my old school anyway and um you know he was my physics teacher and he, met, he sent a message he said Joao, you have been one of the best physics students i've ever had the opportunity to cheat to teach thank you for all the good times um, and some other stuff it was just a really kind genuine email and that has stayed with me to this day just because it was you know i was in a shit spot and, and i think like that email must have taken him 30 seconds to write, but it meant it meant so much to me. And I, and I think most people underestimate the impact. I've done that for a client as well. And he later told me he was having such a shit time. And, and I'm so like, you never know what somebody is going through. And um, you might just write that card at the right time that it makes a huge difference in their life. And, you know, to be fair, it might not. But the literally, there's the worst case scenario is they feel appreciated. And I think that's a great thing. And I, I think everybody could use more of it. And um, yeah, so that's been a nice thing recently. Um, yeah, just actively appreciate people. I probably wanna like, I don't know. It's just one of the most fundamental joys of life. Like it costs you no money but it's absolutely priceless. Anybody can give it. And, um, you know, same thing goes for smiling, laughing, that kind of stuff. Like, you know, the basics take you a long way. And um, even from a business perspective, appreciating people is incredibly valuable because the way you form relationships is also a lot better. Anyway, that aside, it's 11.38. I'm going to hop back into my work. Focus the next two hours. Two hours. Yeah, if I, you know, if I can sleep from 2.30 to like 8.30, six hours. I mean, if I can get six and a half would be nice. But point being, I don't have much time. So I'm going to jump right in and just hammer some shit out. And uh, I'll be having a good time probably. I'm pretty excited about this uh, this work, to be honest. So. As much as it maybe doesn't look like it because I just showered and I'm, you know, it, yeah, I'm, I'm somewhat tired. I'm not totally, totally ruined, but, uh, yeah. So that's it. And then I'll call it a day, wrap it up. And then tomorrow at nine, back at it. Looking forward to that call. I've got a bunch of calls tomorrow. What do I have? 9 a.m., 11 a.m. Be a tease. I have a job interview for someone. Uh, oh, oh, and then I got to call the client about something that's, uh, some BLE stuff that's still a bit of a major roadblock. Um, okay. And then I got to call my assistant in the afternoon. 
client call. Okay, tomorrow's got a lot of calls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight calls. All right, well, it's gonna be a hell of a day. Well, let's get to it, I suppose. Issue with calls, like a lot of calls in a day, I, I actually really enjoy them. Uh, the problem is just doing focus work, but I see some blocks where I could uh, get some stuff out. I'll figure it out. Anyway, that's tomorrow's problem today. I got to do what I can. I don't. I don't think I'll record something. Uh, yeah, if I if I record something later, great. Not not totally sure, but uh, yeah, probably not. Anyway, that's a wrap on uh, Wednesday, thirteenth of March. Stuff does not go to plan. It is three in the morning, and. realizing now I've got a half typed message. It's 3.15. I gotta be up in, oh my God, I gotta be up in like five hours. Uh, and I had like seven calls. Oh, I have to make the video for the, oh God, I'm remembering now, I gotta do something else. Um, there's just, there's an endless list of to-dos and I don't get how, it just keeps growing. Um, Genuinely, it just baffles me. Anyway, um, I have, yeah, I have to make a video. I had like seven calls today. I was, I was counting them out earlier. I had seven calls today. I have eight tomorrow. And so much work in between. God, that's impossible. It's, it's so very challenging. Very, very challenging. I gotta figure something out to like reduce the number of calls. Yeah, reduce the number of calls. And uh, what's. No, why? No, 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 no. no time for this. Mm, it's a challenge. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh, I'm. I'm how the hell am I going to find time for everything? Oh, it's really not, not a very fun situation to be in right now. Um, anyway, I got to make a video for my junior to take over one of my projects from me. That's a good idea. And then, um, I mean, I'd be, excited to get another one off my hands, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So, okay, yeah, um, I don't know, I gotta think about stuff, but I can't, I can't, I can't keep doing it. How is it already Thursday? What the hell? And I need to record, I need, oh my god. God. Oh. Record room for Bobby. Um, okay, record room for him. Finish replying to my client. Um, so that's, that's done. I don't even know. My brain is fried. How am I going to survive tomorrow? This, this is not fun. Not, not very fun at all. See, I keep saying that I have to go, but then I keep having another thing, and I just do it, I just do it, I just do it, and then it ends up being like 3, 4 in the fucking morning.
Okay. Um. Oh my God. Holy shit. Okay, that's done. How am I? How am I? Doing? I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, this is the first time I feel like it's been a while since I've just been this back to back, like swamped with work. But I gotta figure something out because now I don't. It's also, it's very much a blocker to growth. Like if you if you are working so much, this is the same reason why I think like it's very hard to get out of a position where you work like let's say a you know a twelve hour shift in a restaurant job or something because it's incredibly challenging when your energy is really depleted to 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 dedicate mental energy to to any hustles or whatever that supposedly get you out of that uh, situation and. Um, Obviously, I'm in a much better situation than something like that because I have a lot of control and whatever over my work. But like, I'm noticing that I am like this. It's also not a good place. Like, as much as like you want to work smart, right? And um, as much as it's great and all that, I have a lot of work. Uh, you want to work hard. You want to be busy, etc. Yes, but at the same time, you don't want to be so busy that you become useless. Uh, if that makes any sense, like. Yeah, um, basically it's just, it's like, I need to be able to, um, I need to be able to turn that down and spend time on business development, on strategy stuff, bigger picture stuff. So I'm gonna call it a wrap. I just see one more year, the roosters outside.